This is the Seychelles Magpie Robin, a rare and endangered bird with only 460 of them left in the world. In the sanctuary in the Seychelles, only 59 are left and they could be extinct if nothing is done to conserve them. One group thought that making digital copies of them might be the key to their survival. The Seychelles magpie robin is one of the rarest animals on Earth. In 1990, there were only 23 birds on one island. By transforming the island of Kozan in the Seychelles into an ecotourism destination, conservation groups have saved these birds from going extinct. The plan worked well and the income from tourist activities have supported conservation efforts. In 2005, the Seychelles magpie robin was downlisted from critically endangered to endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. But there's still more work to do as there are only 59 birds left on this island. Unfortunately, COVID hit and for almost two years now, ecotourism has stopped and the funds needed for conservation have dried up. Fortunately, a new idea was put forward by Nature Seychelles and Perini Foundation. We have the million dollar bird. The million dollar bird took over a million dollars to actually save. Now we want this bird to save us, so we are selling this bird. We are selling the digital twins of these birds, what is called non-fungible tokens, and the money comes to Nature Seychelles. The NFTs were sold in different tiers, with a price ranging from $10 to $10,000. And in less than a month, 70% of the birds were sold. The $10,000 NFT and a few high-tier ones are still available for grabs if you don't want to miss out. NFTs have a reputation for being environmentally harmful due to the huge energy costs needed to mint them. So you might be wondering, is it a good idea for an environmental organization to do an NFT auction? Uh, I had the same thoughts, but the truth is, the huge energy costs of NFTs apply mostly to proof-of-work blockchains like Ethereum. These Magpie NFTs, on the other hand, are minted in a zero-carbon blockchain developed by Perini Foundation, a Swiss organization specializing on technological applications for the environment. And with the program's success, they have now minted other endangered species as NFTs, such as the dark edge split fin of Mexico and the happy eagle of Colombia. Very few people are talking about this brave new world that we see in front of us, which is all this tech for conservation to survive in this age of COVID. We have to try things and we cannot be afraid of failure. Rarity is not good when we talk about species at the brink of extinction. But rarity is desired when it applies to collectibles like NFTs. It's amazing how both concepts can be combined to create something useful for the planet. And that is something we should be curious about. The huge environmental cost of Bitcoin and Ethereum is one of the reasons why the Chinese government hates crypto. But despite its crackdown on crypto, NFTs seem to not only exist but also thrive in China. Let's take a peek at China's own unique NFT world in the next video.